Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. My name is Charles Peace. In today's video, I will show you the easiest way to achieve a concept. Now the items I need, I need a fabric. I pick a fabric of your choice. I'm using these two fabric. I'm combining it with my thick lining, a bridal satin, and a lining as well. I need my bra cup size and a boning. So guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Now let's get started. Now, I first of all, measure out my half length, which is 17 inches. I'll go ahead and add extra one inch, making it 18 inches. My fabric is on fold. So this for my half length, I remove six inches from my shoulder. So this is the six inches I removed from here. You can see that. Then the next thing I'll mark is my nipple to nipple, which is 3.5. I added extra half inch, making it four inches. Then I'll join the lines together. The first thing I'll mark will be my underboss, which is 14.5 five inches so after marking 14.5 inches as my underboss my boss point is 10.5 inches i'll go ahead and mark 10.5 inches i'll go ahead and join the lines together to make a stretch line at this west line i'll remove go ahead and remove half inch here then from the armhole side i will remove one inch making it 1.5 from this on the bust that's the normal way you cut your bust here i'll remove 1.5 here and half inch here then i'll connect it to this bust point
the front side. The back piece. I'll go ahead and cut my main lining. This one is satin fabric for my sequins. So I'll cut that both for the front and the back. I'll So it's straight just with one quarter the same thing i will do to the second one after then i'll show you the next thing i'll do now i've sewn it you can see i've placed my dart so i'll keep it aside now this is my front lining the same way i joined the main fabric i'll do the same to the lining I will join it. After then, I will show you the next thing I will do. Now I've joined the lining for the front. I will as well keep it aside. This is for my bra cup. You know, this center, I'm going to mark it. So this is my center. So I will mark it here. From this center here, I will mark this side half inch this side and half each this side so that by the end of it i'm having one inch at the middle now you get your bra cup this is how we place it can see that from that one inch i mark 
Mark one inch from the line down and see there is one inch here and I remove half inch from this side and half inch from this side. So from this one inch, I will concentrate and put the edge of my bra cup like so. You can see that yeah. this is how I will place it. You place it, just slant it properly. But before then, I'm going to add my gum. Put a glue on it. Any glue of your choice. Just to make it to be firm. I will still sew it, but I just want, when I place it, it will. Now, after applying my glue, I will allow it to dry. Then I will. This side is facing up, depending on how you want it. You, if you want, you can place it like so, but I, I want it to be like this. So I'm going to go ahead and place it. Gently place it on my fabric. So I'll make sure I follow this mark here. I leave one inch in between and I come down by one inch at this midpoint. Then I slant it. So I'll go to my sewing machine following this line. I'll sew it round and I swear sew the second one round. After then, I'll show you the next thing I'll do. Now I've fixed the bra cup. You can see that. The shape has come out very well. Now I'll get my lining. The right side of the lining should face the right side of the fabric. Then I'll sew starting from the upper side. I'll close it up. Then I'll sew the two sides, leaving the armhole open. After then, I'll show you the next thing I'll do. Now I've turned the lining. To the right side after notching the upper side so this is how it looks the next thing i'll do is just to create cut out my casing for the boning i'll put one here put another one on this line this side so guys we are true with the concept you can see how it looks and as well you can go ahead and create casing for the boning for the back if you want it to have a boning at the back just create a casing like a bias form and place it so the corset is ready i hope this video is helpful your corset is ready and add your sleeve so guys i hope this video is helpful so if you have any question you can drop it at the comment section don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel Click on the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Give it a thumbs up. Share to your friends. Bye until I see you in my next video.